two, the plant fairy. Friends, do you want to hear a story? This story is about the experience of children just like you who went to the garden. So let's hear the story in their words. Last Sunday, we went to a garden in the neighborhood. We played hide and seek, chupan chupai, and altachari. We had a lot of fun. After some time, Didi said, let us play a new game today. We had played this game in the camp last year. I will become a plant fairy. The plant fairy will call out the name of something and you all will have to touch it. The game began. Didi said, the plant fairy asks you to touch a plant. At once, all the children ran towards the plants. Amu held the marigold plant. Shabnam sat touching a jasmine plant. Michael touched a mehendi bush. Dayala caught hold of a neem tree and stood there. Didi, you are also sitting on little plants, said Shabnam. Can you tell the plant on which Didi is sitting? Don't know. No problem. I will tell you. Didi is sitting on the grassland. The game started again. The plant fairy now said, Touch a tree which has either a thick or a thin trunk. The children ran again to touch the trees with thick or thin trunks. Have you seen a tree with a trunk as thick as the one shown in the picture? No, you haven't seen? Okay, I will tell you. Banyan tree, Neem tree, People tree, Mango tree, Chiku tree, Nilgiri have thick trunks. While the plants like hibiscus, sunflower, mehendi, azalea, lemon, and pomegranate have very thin trunks. Didi said, Good! All have touched plants and trunks correctly. But did you notice? that all trees and plants are different? But do you know why they are different? They are different because there are different types of plants. Let us know the types of plants. Types of plants Vegetation and plants are of different types. There are plants, shrubs, trees and vines. Within this, much variation is seen. Such type of vegetation is not seen everywhere. Only certain kind of plants and vegetation grow at specific places and regions where there is favorable climate and weather conditions. Plants like the cacti which can survive in dry and barren climate are found in the desert. Whereas trees like the coconut and palmyra are found near the seaside. You can see different types of plants around you. Some of them are taller than you, while some are shorter. Some plants are very tall with strong and erect stems while some plants have weak stems and they creep on the ground. Herbs Plants which have height less than 4 to 6 feet are known as herbs. The stem of herbs is mostly tender or weak. For example, 
plants like jasmine, touch me not, mimosa, and marigold have weak or tender stems. Generally, herbs have a short lifespan. For example, plants like wheat, sorghum, jowar, pearl millet, vinca, marigold, brinjal, tomato have a short lifespan. Plants like rose and touch me not plant, mimosa plant also have short lifespan. Some herbs have long lifespan. For example, tulsi plant, osima lives for more than one year. Some herbs bear beautiful and colorful flowers. For example, rose plant, vinca plant and marigold plant. Shrubs Plants which can grow up to 12 to 15 feet are called as shrubs. For example, lemon, sunflower, etc. Stem of a shrub is comparatively stronger than herbs. For example, hibiscus has a stronger stem than the mimosa plant. In shrubs, the branches develop at certain distance from the ground. The lifespan of a shrub is longer than the herbs. Pomegranate, hibiscus, custard apple, guava, lawsonia, oleander are examples of shrubs. Tree. Plants which have height more than 15 feet are called as trees. Neem, peepal, banyan, mango, eucalyptus and pine tree. Trees have a long lifespan. For example, tea, mango, banyan, oak and pine tree have a long lifespan than shrubs like hibiscus. The stem of a tree is very hard and strong. For example, trees like deodar, eucalyptus, tea, aparosa, diversia, that is, rosewood. Trees with a big canopy provide shade. For example, mango tree, peepal tree, banyan tree, neem tree, acacia tree, etc. Creepers Some plants have a weak stem and cannot stand erect. These plants are known as creepers. For example, plants like grapes, pumpkin, bitter gourd, gourd and watermelon are creepers. Some creepers spread on the ground and bear big fruits. For example, watermelon, pumpkin, muskmelon, cucumber, etc. Get a support of a wall or a stick. Some creepers stick to that support and twine around it. For example, gold, bitter gold, bean, and pothos, money plant. Now that we learned about the different types of plants, let us continue with the game. Michael found the game very interesting. He thought how lucky the fairy was. She could order everyone around. Now I want to be the plant fairy, said Michael. The children laughed aloud. A boy fairy! They were now ready to take orders from the new plant fairy. Michael said, get me some leaves quickly. But remember, you are not to pluck the leaves from the plants, said he. The 
children ran to collect the leaves which were lying on the ground. They brought many leaves. Wow! How many different types of leaves? Dayara said, I did not know that there were so many types of leaves. Look, some are round, some are long and some are triangular. Friends, do you know which plant's leaves are round in shape? Oh, you don't know? Let me explain. The leaves of lotus and tamarind are round in shape. See, these are lotus leaves and these are tamarind leaves. They are round in shape, aren't they? Now tell which plant's leaves are long. Mm, Ashoka tree's leaves are long. And which plant's leaves are triangular in shape? Hmm, absolutely right. The leaves of people tree are triangular in shape. Amu said, They are so many different colors as well. Some are light green and some are dark green. Some are even yellow, red and purple. There is one which is green and has white patches on it. There is a diversity in the colors of the leaves too. Such as the leaves of a shoka tree are dark green in color, while the leaves of honey plant are light green in color. Dry leaves of tobacco are yellow color, and money plant's leaves are green but have white patches on them. Look, even the margins of these leaves are different from each other. Some have straight margins and some uneven. Some of these margins even look like a saw, said Shabna. Thus, there is a diversity in leaves and their margins. We have different body parts like hands, legs and head. Similarly, plants do have different parts. Let's learn about the parts of a plant. See, this is a neem tree. We will learn about its parts. Parts of plants. Roots. Roots lie below the surface of soil. So, we cannot see them. This part of the tree that looks like threads lies below the surface of the soil. There are two basic functions of roots. To absorb water and non-organic nutrients from the soil, anchoring the plant body to the ground and supporting it. Children, if you try to pull up grass from the ground, it can be easily removed because its roots are small and weak, whereas you cannot uproot a tree because its roots are strong and they penetrate deep inside the soil. Now, we will learn about the second part of the plant, the trunk. Trunk. The trunk is that part of the plant which looks like a wooden axis and which grows from the soil. The roots lie inside the soil while the trunk is above the soil. As the trunk grows larger, it segregates into branches. Leaves grow on the branches and this further leads to the development of flowers and fruits. The trunk transports the water and other nutrients that the roots absorb to the other parts of plants. We know that it is of utmost importance that the plants get adequate amount of sunlight and water for their proper growth. The trunks of huge trees are extremely strong and form the main part of the system. Trunks of the mango tree, neem tree and paper tree are very large with big axis and 
stand straight on land. The reason behind this is that their trunk wood is very strong. You must have observed that plants like bitter gold, bottle gold and grapes grow on vines. This is because the stems of these vines are very thin. So they cannot stand straight on their own and therefore need support for growth. Thus, the farmers have to tie wires so that these vines take its support to climb and grow more. Now let us learn about the third part of the plant, the leaves. Leaves. Leaves grow on the branches of plants. Children, take a look at the leaves of the people tree. The asobala tree and the leaves of the neem tree. The shape, size and appearance of all three leaves are different. Most of the times, the leaves are green in color. The leaves produce food, sucrose and chlorophyll for the tree in the presence of sunlight. Thus leaves are called the kitchens of the plants. Now we will learn about the fourth part of the plant which is the flower. Flower. Just like leaves differ in color, shape and size, there is a great variation in the color, shape, size and smell of flowers. The champa and Indian jasmine, mogra, are white in color. Roses are pink, red, yellow, and of many other colors. The hibiscus is red in color. You also saw the difference in their shapes and sizes. Children, do you know that fruits grow out of glass? Let us now learn about the fifth part of the plant, which is the fruit. Fruit. There are seeds inside the fruit. We also call it stones in some fruits. You already know that. When we sow the seed, the plants grow out of it as it contains the plant embryo. You must have observed that the place where you have thrown the mango stone in summer, a mango tree has started to grow. Isn't it amazing to know that the place where you sow the mango seed will grow into a big mango tree, which will in turn give you so many mangoes? Just by sowing one wheat grain, a whole wheat plant starts growing. The shoot grows on the plant and many grains start growing on it. Thus nature's law of growing many from one is very amazing. Amu and Shabda shouted together. We also want to be the plant fairy. Didi said, not today. Maybe next Sunday. It is time to go home now. On the way back, Didi recited a poem for everyone. Leaves. Red, purple and even yellow. Some green, wet and loose. Leaves are of different kinds and of different shapes and shapes. Some are like the elephant's ears and some are playful like the devil. Some are torn and some are folded. And some even eaten like the beetle. And in the early dawn's darkest hue, you will find the flowers cry tear like dew. Some are like butterflies, some like bees. Some are heavy and some plain. Some dry up to look thorns, some even resemble grains. Whoosh, whoosh, scuttle and flutter. In the breeze, they all do mutter. All day long they smile and play, and in the night they sleep away. Leaves are of different kinds and of different shapes and hues. 
विजेंद्र पाल सिसोदिया रीड एंड राइट वॉट इज सीन इन द गार्डन तर डिफरेंट ट्रीज लाइक नीम पीपल बैनि एंड मेनी फ्लावर प्लांट्स लाइक मैरिकोल रोज जैसमिन एंड ट्यूलिप आर सीन इन द गार्डन मोर ओवर देर इज अ लॉन्ग स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर इन द गार्डन प्लेइंग इक्विपमेंट्स लाइक स्लाइड्स swings merry go round and seesaws are also seen in the garden benches for sitting are also seen in the garden activity let us learn how to take rubbings prints of leaf and trunk take a paper and a crayon or a color pencil place the leaf on a table or on the ground it should be placed in such a way that the side of the leaf with waves is on the top place a paper on the leaf gently rub the crayon or color pencil on the paper Be careful that the paper or the leaf does not move. See how beautiful rubbing is. Similarly, take rubbing on the trunk of a tree. Place a paper on the trunk and rub the crayon or color pencil on it. Look, you have made rubbing of the tree trunk. Look at the rubbings made by the others. Are the rubbings of different plants similar? Which leaf gave a good rubbing? The rough and uprooted leaf gave a good rubbing. In case of which tree was the rubbing of the trunk difficult? Why? The trees which have thin and delicate trunk, their rubbing was difficult because their trunk was smooth and thin. Now let's do another activity. Activity. We know that diversity is seen in the color, shape, margin of the leaves. Let's understand this in detail. Collect a few leaves. of plants like lemon mango neem basil tulsi mint pudina and coriander dhania crush the leaves and smell them do they all smell alike can you identify the leaves just by the smell friends you notice that all these leaves smell is different. For example, the smell of lemon leaves is sour. Similarly, the smell of mango tree leaves are also sour. But how does the neem tree leaf smell? Its smell is bitter, isn't it? Whereas the smell of basil, 